Hello again viewers. Today we're going to be moving the rooters and switchers into the uh, rack here. Hopefully it goes well. Got my uh, cage nuts and screws and washers. I've even thrown a couple of them in there already. Gonna put them close to the top there. Loud bastard's gonna make it into the rack finally. Still gonna lose its fan privileges. Let's go ahead and uh, shoot her up. Alright, system is going down for halt and soon it's gonna be a whole lot quieter in here. Hopefully I've documented everything I need because I'm taking the kingpin out of the network. Not sure if you guys noticed, but it got a whole lot quieter in here. Figured I'd take this time to open this bad boy up and show you what I got going on in here. This is my PF Sense router case that I picked up off Craigslist. This fan sounds like a goddamn plane taking off. I hate this thing. This is actually, what is that, Jetway? It's kind of an off-brand motherboard manufacturer. They're not common. But I found one that fits uh, the processor that came out of my old Alienware laptop. The video card shit the bed and it wanted 300 some odd bucks to fix it, so I just scrapped it. And put the processor and memory in here in a motherboard that accepts it, so I got a Core 2 Duo processor and 4 gig of memory. This used to be one of my old ESXi hosts. I also have a little bendy uh, PCIe cable that plugs into my Intel dual gigabit NIC. You can see better from this angle. Uh, modem, local network something like that and this fan is loud as shit too so I can't wait to get rid of this whole this whole mess and, and go for some lower power components that I know is gonna work all right let's close her back up and throw in the rack all right guys got my router installed top of rack you're not supposed to put your switches up there but this is the front I'm gonna put the switch in the back of the rack everyone thinks it's cool to look at all the pretty lights in the front but it's stupid because you got to run all your ethernet cables to the back anyways where all your crap's plugged in. So I went ahead and threw my trip light, whatever the hell, power strip thing. Ran the cable through one of these fancy holes up here down into my UPS. Got a safety thingy that I can't even get open so you don't shut the power off on yourself. Ah, there we go. I'll make sure I don't get in there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw the switch in the top. Hopefully it fits above this one. Let's do it. So I lied. I'm actually going to put all the servers in the rack today. I was going to put the switch in first, but literally everything's attached to it, so I figured it'd be easier. Put all the other junk in there, then put the switch in and plug all that shit back in. But I wanted to show you guys the Norco Rail Kit again I mentioned in one of my previous videos. On this case, there's a tab right here that this slides right into, and then it lines up with the holes in the rest of the case. And since this is a 2U, this is actually on the bottom half of the case. I'm going to go ahead and throw these on there. And there they are installed. In the previous shot I actually had them turned around. Because I'm an idiot. But, there they are installed. It actually goes under this tab here. It's pretty handy. It helps to actually support the rail as you're screwing it in. Like I mentioned uh, in the previous video, there's actually... we use only using two release tab. So you can pull it out. Go ahead and throw it in. And there she is installed. Let's do another one. Alright, now that host number two is powered off, I'm going to open it up and show you guys what we're working with here. Rip this front thing off. Alright, these fans are not very great. Not very great ball bearings. And this. I hate this. This is a fan cord that should have a two pin or three pin uh, pin out for the motherboard. Instead, they put it in these four pin Molex connectors in case you don't have enough fan ports on your motherboard. Well, this is a super micro motherboard and I have plenty and they can control the fan speed based on the temperature in the case and these Molex connectors make these things run 100% all the time which means they're loud. So what do I do? Got me one of these. Actually I got two of them. Actually I got four of them because they're in the other case. Noctua 80 millimeter fans, premium. It's supposed to be quiet and brown. We got these little, uh, little uh, rubber rubber feet. Come with screws, feet. These kind of these pegs go in instead of screws. It kind of holds it in via uh, some force. These are supposed to be uber quiet fans. They even have this, which is a low noise adapter. It's a resistor in line or something in that adapter. And they even have extenders. And then this god awful piece, if you actually need it, you can plug these into a Molex connector if you want. But this is just an extension. So I already, I'm already rocking those in uh, our first server here. But you go ahead and throw them in uh, our second one. Slap the rails on it. Throw in the rack. So I wanted to stop while I was installing them and just show you how I got these in there. If you're going to use these fans specifically, these 80mm ones, they have these. Uh, 
rubber corners on them, which is handy for noise cancellation when you're talking about vibration and such. And I've left them on pretty much all the way around except for the top here. The Norco, the specific case, the front, when it fits on here, it kind of crushes the uh, rubber at the top here since there's backing here. And uh, the, the front doesn't fit quite right, so I went, go, went ahead and took those off because it adds just a little bit more to it. And uh, the bottom isn't as big of a deal because it just kind of pushes the fan back, and there's nothing back there. It kind of flops around a little bit on its rubber things. But it doesn't matter because the front presses right up against this and secures it in place. I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm also going to be using the extension thingamajig here to make it longer so I can run it to one of the fan uh, pinouts on the motherboard. And through the magic of TV magic, they're installed. Everything's installed. Start down here. Triple UPS installed. NAS kind of installed. ESXi hose 1 and 2. Router. Switchers in the back there. Something else I wanted to show you guys, it slides very nicely. I want to pull it all the way out, still plugged in, but when you guys first install these, you're going to want to be careful with fitting the specific cat case in its rail kit. The rail kit tends to move inward. I had to loosen these screws up in order to slide the kit in. What ended up happening was these rail kits were squeezing the case and I couldn't actually push it all the way in because they were they were squeezing the case. I had to adjust the rear and the front, just basically loosen these up, ram the thing in, back it out a little bit, tighten it up, and now it slides just fine after I sheared some paint off of the side of the case, but oh well. There it is, running like a top or whatever other server alternative thing. I'm pretty stoked about this. We're gonna put the sides on, the back and the front on eventually. So in our next video, I'm actually going to swap out the motherboard on this top one here. Got a nice super micro one in the mail today. And another 16 gig of RAM. So we're going to go ahead and throw that in there and that's going to be the next video. As always, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments or PM or what have you. And I'll do my best to answer them. If you want to see anything else in a video that I've got going on here or whatever else YouTube asks for. Probably puppies on fire, donkeys with plungers stuck to their heads. I don't know. YouTube's a weird place, man. But anything else, just let me know and I'll maybe get back to you. All ten of you. Now that might be optimistic. Anyways, until next time, guys. Later. Alright, now that host number two is powered off, we're going to go ahead and open her up so I can show you guys. Oh, fuck.